Let's talk duct tape. Because the reason, the reason for this whole catastrophe was that I used the wrong duct tape. And also how much duct tape is enough. On the previous mirror I used five strips which was completely overkill. This just made everything so much worse. And the answer to that is well, just have a look at this mirror. I'm such an idiot, there is a f Initiating. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose. One day, one step in the right direction. I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Wednesday, another day, another chance to push out. And the topic for this vlog is my take on how to wall mount a freaking mirror. So let's get it. By the way, all home improvement vlogs right here. Watch them all. But before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my life special and worth a living to the max. So let me try to get back with a sweet, sweet video. In my last vlog, I just learned that you should put a lot of thought into a project like this. You should think about which duct tape to use, where to position it, how to position it, and if it's a good idea in the first place to go for a wall-mounted solution, a permanent solution, because removing my mirror, this broken mirror, was such a pain in the butt it was atrocious, yeah, it, it was bad. So this time I'm not going to eyeball it. This time I will go crazy, but I've already prepared everything. It's gonna be precise, as precisely as possible. But before we get to mounting this mirror, this mirror right here, and there is yet another mirror for this door. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Let's talk duct tape. Because the reason, the reason for this whole catastrophe was that I used the wrong duct tape. I used two dimensional duct tape, AKA very thin, duct tape and generally speaking this is a bad idea especially for tiles and especially if the tiles are wobbly which is the case in my shitty bathroom it's looking fairly fine but you know on a technical level on a technical standpoint it is crap it is just it is just no it is really freaking insane <laughs> this is completely shit Seriously, whoever did this is an idiot. Useless idiot. It's insane. Like, completely crap. Whatever. I just need to deal with it. So, in a case like this, you need three dimensional duct tape, aka thick duct tape. This one is one and a half millimeters thick, so it's not that thick. So, I think this is not even thick enough for the, these badly uh, adjusted tiles. But let's just hope for the best. And also, how much duct tape is enough. On the previous mirror I used five strips which was completely overkill. This just made everything so much worse. And the answer to that is well just have a look at this mirror. Basically the same duct tape. I think this is I think it's actually the same the same freaking duct tape. And for this massive mirror they only use two strips. Only two. Can you imagine that? So let's <gasps> Oh my god. I bought another broken mirror by the way. And I think I just almost made it worse. But yeah. Nothing happened, thankfully. Let's go for a three. I don't know, like two seems a bit, seems a bit less to me. Just like that. The mirror should be clean. I'm not sure if this one is. So let's give it a wipe. So here we go. Oh God, with the first strip. I think two would be enough, but yeah, I just want to, I just want to do three. Strips done. And now, when it gets to wall mounting, a mirror preparation is key. I decided to center the mirror above the sink, so I used my laser. If you don't have a fancy laser like me, you definitely need a spirit level. Then you can just use a spirit level to do the same task, basically. So, just like that. Put up duct tape right here on this line. And then I went from here to there, five centimeters. Did the same thing on the other side marked it and then I put the beam over this mark right here and I put up this duct tape and then I also duct taped my spirit level to the wall. As you can see it's perfectly aligned and now I oh my god not again now I can just take this mirror and put it up perfectly. In theory let's go for it and let's see if my theory is correct. Let's give the wall the last wipe and three there we go now comes the moment of truth. Oh God, please pray for me. First of all, I will put it onto the spirit level. No, no. Abort. Which tool should I trust? The laser or the spirit level? The laser tells me a different story than the spirit level. It's unbelievable. The laser is telling me that the seam is, isn't too bad actually. The spirit level is 
telling me and not a whole other story though. Check out the spirit level, it's crazy. But this is how the seam is, like... Wow. Let's just go for it. In the laser, I trust. It's fairly aligned with the seam. Oh god. It's on there. I'm basically one with the seam. Okay, this is, this is so terrible. I hate it. Freaking OCD. God damn it. Okay, let's press it tight. <laughs> Kill me. Okay, let's remove all of this tape. I will not remove this mirror. Never freaking ever. Let's just hope. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm actually satisfied. I'm satisfied with the outcome. It's not triggering me in any, in any acute way. No, it's not. <sighs> Got another mirror up. The thing is, look at my face. Look at the warping of my face. This is ridiculous. I just can't do anything about it. You would need way thicker duct tape to counter these messed up tiles. This is just terrible, especially right here. Oh my god, I'm getting seasick. <laughs> okay, but anyways, I haven't trained in one month. So this mirror is up. It is sad, but it is how it is. My tiles, these tiles are all messed up. So I can't mount this mirror on the on the tiles. This would be stupid. My first idea was to pull one up here and pull one up here to have like a mirror corner. This would be awesome. And I would also act love to mount another mirror in the shower, but nope, it's not going to happen. So instead, I will mount this last mirror a full-sized mirror on this door. Genius, right? <laughs> I know. And this is pretty awesome actually because it will cover up this nasty looking door almost completely. So let's wall mount or a door mount another mirror. You better be very careful with this one because this one is not broken. Oh, <laughs> believe it or not. The last mirror of this size was broken though. I was very pissed off. But this one isn't and I don't plan on breaking it now. So another prayer for Chris, please. Oh god. No! No, 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 no. No! I'm such an idiot. There is a. F I completely forgot about the door handle. Oh no! This would be so cool, but no. Freaking hell. <sighs> Just got myself three more mirrors. Preparation is key. Fires a wrong mirror. <laughs> <laughs> so this one is substantially smaller, minus 10 centimeters when it gets to the width. So this one should fit and I think yeah, the size should work as well. And I also got myself two tiny ones for the shower. Let's go. Oh yes, this is pretty dope. This is pretty perfect. They will cover the tiles pretty perfectly. So here we go. This is the preparation for this tiny mirror. I'm kind of sad because this mirror is really freaking tiny. But hey, check it out. So I used duct tape to center it again and this time I glued on, well I taped on the spirit level on the upside. So let's remove this and yeah, let's hope for the best. Oh my god, I'm, I'm useless. Hey, it goes nothing again. Let's use the, oh no, oh god, it's our, oh my god. What a pain in the butt. Yeah, right there. Okay, I think I aligned it pretty good on the laser. Yeah, whatever. Oh my god, please, 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 please. Okay, so the, mm, it's hard to say, it's actually hard to say. I think the problem, the main problem is actually the freaking door frame this time. Because when you look at this side, it's looking, it's looking pretty parallel, right? But when it gets to this side, down here, there is definitely less space than up here. Check this out. And that's the freaking door frame. This flat is a piece of crap. Oh, unbelievable. But hey, I do have a mirror on the on the door now. Let's go. It's a bit smaller than, than expected, but a mirror is better than no mirror. <laughs> but yeah, so far this laser is a MVP. And if you're interested in this thing, then check out my review right here. I can definitely recommend it. This thing is awesome. Okay, so this is the approach for the small ones two tapes on the on both sides and this might actually be pretty dope i'm going to put one here one here and i actually need a third one to put it right here but for now i will just eyeball these two and yes i will i will eyeball them and the best thing i will even cover up a broken tile can you see this there is a freaking crack in here right freaking here insane <laughs> There it is, eyeballing them was no problem whatsoever. I oriented myself on this seam, but up here, well, probably this tile is probably, oh my God, whatever. These two right here turn out pretty good, check it out. 
no problem. And all in all, it spices up everything. The only thing that I don't like are these freaking like colors, these colors everywhere. This is crazy. Like all these freaking colors. I don't like that, but the rest is pretty clean looking. I like that. This will be one of my next projects. I want to install possibly two power outlets, two tiny ones right here. And this power outlet, that's yet another project. So two more projects for this room. Another project will be this light, but so far I haven't even ordered one. Well, I ordered one, but it got lost in the mail. That's why it's still looking like that. And the fourth project will be a new event construction, basically. I want to invent something like a door. Yeah, but when that's done, four more projects, then this room will be complete. Oh my God, actually, this door needs a cover up or something like that because Mm, all white would be amazing. So this might be a possible fifth project, but anyways, that's enough progress for today. Smash that like button <laughs> the way I want to smash myself for not realizing the state of this bathroom earlier. <laughs> Bang a bell like clap, clap, to never miss home improvement vlogs. I wanted to say looks like vlogs. No, home improvement. Check the recent news on chrisfiber.com and yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow.